Hello. Thanks for joining us today. Um, for those that don't know me, uh, sorry, for those that don't know, my name's Chris Worden. I'm the Managing Director of First Business Rescue. Um, so what First Business Rescue do, we are a rescue and recovery company and we help businesses that are in distress financially. Um, now today, I'm being joined by Jack Christian from Sedulo Funding Solutions. Jack, can you, uh, can you give us a little bit of information about who you are and, and what you do? Of course, thanks Chris. Yeah, so um, Sedulo Funding Solutions uh, are part of a bigger group called Sedulo. Um, we actually help businesses, whether that's internal clients or UK companies, um, source uh, funding funding solutions basically so whether that's ever from the banks um, whether that's through alternative lenders etc um, obviously currently you know um, with this uh, situation that we're in we're obviously trying to help businesses um, and update the companies out there with what we can do uh, in reference to help um, on the funding parts which we'll go into um, with Chris in a minute um, but we've been around for about uh, well we've been around for 11 years yesterday actually as a group uh, there's lots of different it. services Thanks very much, mate. Uh, lots of different services that we do other than funding, um, but I'll leave that till the end and um, send some links out so that um, if there's any other services that we can help businesses with, you know, we can provide that later on. Fantastic. And, and you, you cover Manchester, Leeds and London is where the office is based, is that right? That's right, yes, that's right. But covered the whole of the UK, but yeah, we have a, we have a presence um, in those cities at the minute. Okay, cool. So, um, right, guys, the, the reason for this uh, this um, uh, this live stream today is to give you guys the the business uh, the business owners, the entrepreneurs, the, the sole traders of uh, of the UK, some clarity around the government funding and the, the government finance that's being brought out to support people and businesses during the coronavirus crisis. Um, now. You know, we want to bring you the latest information and it, it's just gone 12 o'clock on the Friday before the coronavirus bounce back uh, loan is open for business. And I mean, we were talking off air, Jack, weren't we? Um, you know, before we dive into that, how I'm finding this at the moment, I mean, we, we've been overrun by inquiries since, uh, since, since, since the country got locked down and you know businesses are worried you know we we used to deal mainly with businesses that were in distress that if they they had debt problems they'd call us if they had creditor issues they'd call us but we get so many inquiries now from really good businesses you know businesses that were strong businesses that were profitable before the coronavirus and that the owners are in distress you know, right now, um, they're worried, um, things aren't happening quick enough. Um, the, the government bring out an announcement that this, by the way, there's some great schemes that the government have, 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 um, have brought out, uh, but things aren't happening quick enough. And even today, you, you know, we're, People are worried out there, Jack, and um, th these are really, really tense times for, for everyone concerned. Um, how are you finding it? How, how are you, um, you know, what's your take on things? Yeah, a bit like you said, it's, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, not, um, it's not an easy situation. And the government, have, uh, you know, they're trying to do everything in their powers. Uh, it's a bit of the unknown as well. Um, we're finding that very busy with inquiries, uh, but I think the frustration, a bit like saying Chris, and we'll go into it in a bit more detail, is just the speed of things being available and happening, um, you know, on the back of some updates. Uh, everything sounds really good in principle, and it is a difficult, um, difficult solutions that need to be pulled off. Um, but yeah, like you said, there's a lot of businesses out there, and our aim, just as, just as your aim is as well, is to be able to assist and help businesses at this time um, and as quickly as possible, which, you know, there, there has been delays, um, but, you know, we've got to sort of overcome them. So I think with what we're going to go through today is the known, like you said, the unknown. Um, and I'm sure, you know, I'm not, I'm not an expert in all areas and everyone will have their own opinion, but 
hopefully it gives a bit of a guidance and a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel with a few things on you know um, how we can help and how businesses can maybe be prepared going into next week etc with what's going on brilliant and that's why i've invited you invited you on jack um uh, you know we've we've handled inquiries for the coronavirus business interruption loan scheme we've, we've had many many of our customers uh, old and new inquiring about this and and what what i've really uh, liked about your approach is um you know it's no nonsense straight to the point but you, you've actually successfully drawn down some of these loans for your clients which, which is um you know you, you are one of the few so listen I think we've got to start here. We've got to start with the bounce back loans because these were announced, was it on Monday <clears> or Tuesday? Um, so so the, there's a lot of rumours about these, but, but I think today we've got to start with what we know, what we know to be true, which is, you know, on, on, the, on the, uh, the government website. So I, I'm just, uh, I'll go through the, the, these points. The loan scheme at the moment, so, it's from two to fifty thousand pound, and it's yeah. based on twenty five percent of the turnover. Is that right? Yeah. So it's yeah two uh, yeah two thousand to five uh, fifty thousand to a max of twenty five percent of the annual turnover. That's right. Uh, so so this is for any. I'm right. This is for actually open to any business. So whether you're sole, sole trader, limited company, million pound turnover, hundred grand turnover, this is open to all. That's what I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the scheme opens at 9 a.m. on Monday. Uh, that's that's all I've been told. Yes. So <laughs> I would love that to happen. Um, and, you know, um, fingers crossed it does. It does happen. Um, I think we've seen previously it's taken a little bit of a time to get going, you know, with with the C bills with other areas. Um, and like I said, we we know what we know, which you're going through. And then there's a few areas that we don't know exactly um, which we'll go through. Um, and hoping that will be, you know, will be available, or we might even get an update today or first thing on Monday. Um, so fingers crossed. It's a, it's a, it's an, it's another scheme that's that's great that the government are putting forward, and it's just really getting an understanding of when it will be available. We have been told it's Monday, so we'll wait and see. Okay. Well, it's Monday, so so the loans are up to fifty k. The capped at fifty k. Um, you can take the loan term up to six years. We we understand that to be true, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, another. Um, so who's eligible? They've got to be based in the UK. Yeah. Based in the UK, not being neg has been negatively affected by the coronavirus. Um, and was not an undertaking in difficulty on the 31st of December 2019. Now, these loans are, are, are fully guaranteed by the government. So, Jack, can you just explain um, to, to some of my, uh, why, is the, why is that point so important for the, the small business owner, the entrepreneur, the sole trader that's tuning into us today? Yeah, I think I think yeah. Along with I mean, just as a bit of an overview from my from my point as well, is there's a number of schemes. Um, obviously, started off with um, the C bills through the banks, etc. Um, and I think there was a little bit of a gap in the market, um, which you know, uh, which was allowing SMEs and smaller businesses to really access it, these these funds. So I think this the, you know the scheme as it looks on paper, it is great, and we'll know a bit more. Um, but you know, no PGs, no fees, no first year's interest, and, and backed by the government, hundred um, percent. The other C bills, which we'll go into, for um, is, is just for clarity. Sorry to cut across you, Jack. So for okay. anyone who's watching that doesn't know what a C bills is, this is the coronavirus business interruption loan scheme that was announced um, quite a few weeks ago. We're going to come to that. Jack's got some great information, but right now we're going to talk about the bounce back loans that fingers crossed is open uh, to apply on Monday. Yeah, and I, th I think the things that we, we are just going on to what we don't necessarily know, but what I think um, w will be there, um, and again, just my perspective on it, is um, it, basically the, the lower amounts. I think the schemes, we don't know exactly who the lenders will be, and I just think that's a, that's a point to mention. So this is things we don't know at the minute. However, um, with the, the government looking at the lower interest rates, I think it might be more geared towards banks. Again, don't know exactly. I think the application process will um, 
be simplified so it should be easier in reference to that there won't be um, there won't be forward 12 months uh, cash forecasts um, so I think it will be actually based on the trade um, of the last year so the trade in 2019 um, so on paper as we know it it should be a, a, a more of a straightforward application process um, and offering which you know is what we need I think in general for some businesses, some smaller SME businesses, we need to get um, the cash um, out to them for help quicker rather than obviously we waited on some other schemes a bit longer. Yes, yeah, so, so, um, so, so what we think is going to happen, I mean, we was hoping today we was going to go, right, here you go, you go here, you apply here. So these are, I spoke to a client of mine this morning who's uh, Banks with Barclays um, and he, he, he physically spoke to somebody last night and they've said to him that it's going to be a two page. Uh, and again, this is hearsay right now, but it's a two page application. It's going to go on your last 12 months uh, turnover. But, but there's a question there. So is this going to be on your last set of accounts? OK, that, that's an e but, but if that's the case, let's say I've got a friend of mine whose um, partner opened up a business at the start of this year. So she, she's not you know she's a business that's in distress it's a new startup lots of startup costs and, and they're not able to trade right now how is she you know there's a big question mark is how will will that business apply for a bounce back loan because she's not she's not had to put her, any accounts in it and the government guidance isn't clear but there has been suggestions that uh, you know this could be a self-certification or the banks i suppose it would make sense if you apply to your bank because they can then see your uh, turnover on their system have you got any thoughts on that jack yeah I, I think from what you're saying there and it's not knowing exactly what lenders uh, are maybe you know dealing with this scheme as such uh, if it was with the banks like you said it would make more sense um, in the ability for them to actually have a look at the account have a look at the accounts if the accounts are available or have a look at the turnover through the bank statements um, because obviously if it's just purely self-certified there's a bit of a grey area there um, and again like we keep saying Chris it's a little bit frustrating because we want to get the message out there um, with the facts um, but again that's sort of an area that's it, it is a bit of a grey area and we hope to find out more you know later today or on Monday um, I've spoken with a lender who's you know has has applied to be part of that scheme um, but they haven't heard back yet and obviously with it being Friday, I don't know, you know, I don't know whether they'll be a part of it or how it'll, how the application process will actually, um, how, how it will play. You know, if it's with the banks, I, under, I understand that it might be, uh, it, it might be an easier process in that way. But again, the government have to speak to the banks, the alternative lenders to make sure the mechanisms in place to actually, you know, get, 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 get this up and running and make sure their funds are available. From uploading the applications so that's why uh, not negative at all but i just think from what we've seen previously if people are waiting for money uh, you know to do an application two-page application and the money be available on monday i think personally it might take a bit longer than that to get the me mechanisms right and obviously the lenders in, in place and that's the information that everyone needs to know we need to know that all the business owners need to know that so they know where they stand um so you know watch this space hopefully we'll find out more soon <laughs> Well, I think that this is the purpose of these streams is, is you know, people out there that there's so much conflicting information. Um, you, you know, there's a lot of, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of chatter. So we want to try and cut through the noise. Um, but the things that we do know is it's going to be open on Monday, 2,000 to 50,000, capped at 50,000 or 25% of your turnover. Now, if you're an SME watching this, um, I mean, there are going to be people tuning in now that £50,000 is going to be a drop in the ocean, right? And we're going to come on to how we can help them next. But if you're watching this live stream today, you are a sole trader, you are a small business owner. This is a very, very generous scheme from the government and, and you've got to apply for it. You, you, you know, there's not a business in the UK today, perhaps excluding people who, who are selling... Um, 
you, you know, face masks and, and, and hand detergent that hasn't been uh, impacted negatively by the coronavirus. So yeah. get, we're going to put post the links to the government guidance in the comments. We're also going to be bringing you any updates that we have them. If it's six o'clock tonight, we'll be, we'll be telling you about them. But if you are an SME, you can get as a, a, a loan from the government between 2,000 and 50,000 as of next week. It should be a quick loan. Um, you're not going to have to personally guarantee this loan. So there's very little risk to you as a business owner. You know, what this is going to do is give you a cash injection to either, you know, ride through this storm and then invest in your business, invest in generating revenue and, and invest in your future. So um, what, one of the questions that, that I've had uh, off a number of, of, of my inquiries is what's the loan rate going to be? Um, so have you any, any thoughts on that, Jack? Have you, I know that there's no certainty on this, but what do you believe that the, the, the rate of interest will be? Bearing in mind it'll be yeah. interest free for 12 months. Yes. So I, I think it's probably more geared, uh, to sort of the bank rates. So I think the rates will, will come in fairly low, but that's obviously if it, if it, uh, if, if the, um, the scheme is just through the banks and not alternative lenders. So again, a little bit of a gray area. Um, I think we can expect the rates to be fairly low, but again, don't know exactly what they'll be. Jack, I've got to have to push you on this. Give us an idea. Where <laughs> do you think that they're going to be? I think, they, I think they're going to be similar rates as, as the, the bank C bills that have been approved. Um, but I, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not avoiding the question. I really don't know is the, is the honest okay. answer. Okay. I think they'll be, they'll be in the re, they'll be in the region of, um, you know, they will be on the lower end. The reason that I'm saying that is just with not knowing the mechanism, whether it's through the banks or what banks it's through, okay. uh, or whether it's through alternative lenders, it's a bit difficult to say. Uh, but I do think it'll be a good scheme when it's available. I don't think it'll be, uh, you know, I don't think there's any benefit from it, um, from what we're going to come on to anyway, uh, about the, the alternative C-bills um, options that are becoming available now. Um, but again, I think it's a smaller amount and for smaller SMEs, it's a really good, uh, it, it's a really good scheme to have, especially if the application process is that, uh, that simple and, and quick. Um, just, just one note there, which someone's just notified me about as well, um, since we've been on is the self-certified part of the, uh, of the scheme as well is just purely regards to demonstrating that the business was in no distress or, you know, uh, anything was going on prior to uh, the COVID-19 as well. So that's the bit they have to certify themselves. Well, well I'm glad you've brought that up because I think that's very ambiguous. Um, you, you know, the actual, the actual term is uh, eligibility. You was not an undertaking in difficulty on the 31st of December 2019. So what I'd like to, to, to state to everyone watching here is if you are unsure of this terminology and you're unsure of how or if it applies to your business, then reach out to me. Everyone's going to be different. Uh, send me an inbox, get in touch with me at First Business Rescue. Uh, I'm going to be dropping a, another um, something else in the comments where if you want me to give you a call or one of us to give you a call to discuss that term, uh, then, then you'll be able to be in confidence. It's a free chat uh, and we can just give you an idea of what our view is um, to your business because everybody's a little bit different and, and I think it, it, you know, it is a... It is a very ambiguous term. So if you're unsure if whether you was a business in difficulty and we're not already speaking to you, please get in touch and, and let, let's and arrange a call. So um, moving swiftly on then, because again, there's so many questions about the bounce back loan. Let's go on to the, the coronavirus business interruption loan scheme, which, which Jack calls C-bills for anyone who's watching that, 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 that's not aware of that terminology. So let, let me just give you an update of the numbers, right? Last week it went up. It, you know, it is getting traction, this, uh, this scheme, but as of the 28th of April, this is the latest numbers, the numbers of loans provided through the scheme has increased by 8,638 from this time last week. So that's a total of 25,262, another increase of 50% this week of businesses that have been able to draw down a coronavirus business interruption loan. So 
Positive news, Jack, and I, and I know you guys have successfully got a few of these over the line. Um, so can you just give our audience um, an overview of what is a coronavirus business interruption loan scheme? What are the problems that we face so far? What do you believe that the, um, uh, the, the next few weeks are going to hold for businesses that are interested in these? Okay, yeah, no problem. So uh, sort of separating the C bills, as, as I call it, sorry for everyone. Uh, <laughs> um, in reference to C bills, probably, probably came out or was announced maybe six, six weeks ago in reference really uh, for bank C bills. Um, now that process, um, you know, that, that process happened. I don't think, uh, as people, people m may agree, that it was a really quick solution uh, to come out. Um, obviously, with it being with the banks, there needed to be there needed to be a number of, a, a number of different bits of information. Uh, it needed to be reviewed, etc. So I think the frustration going back probably to the beginning is there wasn't uh, there wasn't enough traction with getting uh, approvals, getting offers out there. And at the end of the day, you know, not, not everyone. It's probably everyone's first point of call. It's probably everyone's plan A um, to visit their bank and look to apply for this which is fine the i think chris the 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 frustration for some businesses as well sme businesses is not it, just being straight then not everyone's gonna get um finance from the bank um and within my day-to-day -day, you know a job uh with the guys at to do their funding solutions we have access to other lenders and alternative lenders because at the end of the day we want to you know, search the market, look at the best rates, look at what's available because every business is different. So what I think has happened with there is, it, 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 don't get me wrong, it's great news. There's more traction. We're down the line a little bit. So hopefully there's some good stories out there. You know, I know a few of, of clients that um, we've been able to help internally through, you know, an application process to help them with that. And obviously businesses have gone directly and got that that's available. Now, where it's not available, and I think the probably, probably, the bit, a, a, another big talking point today uh, that we were going to go through as well as the bounce back loans is the um, alternative so the challenger banks or the alternative lenders go on chris sorry want to put in well, yeah because i i just want to um, let the audience know the distinction there um yeah I just want to run over your, your points because you made some great ones just to make sure everyone's caught it so the coronavirus business interruption loan scheme was announced by Rishi Sunak at the very start of this crisis. And, and there's a, a huge amount of money that's been made um, to, to businesses in the UK. Under £250,000, there was going to be no security. And, and these are this is the scheme that the government... So the government have lent the... Uh, I think it's, it's run by the British Business Bank. And they have lent, they have given this money to the banks that are on the panel. Okay, that, I'm, I'm right so far. And the government have agreed to guarantee 80% of the loan to the banks. So the, the banks are then lending to the businesses. And the banks have got some type of risk because essentially, if the loan fails, they're still going to be picking up the can for 20% of the loan. Have I got that right? Mm -hmm. OK, so the C bills that came in, the coronavirus business interruption loan scheme, the problems that people have faced, right, is that, again, your plan A that you were talking about, they were going to the high street banks. They were making an application online. Just tell us before we move on to plan B, because I know you can add huge value there. Could you just go through some of the in detail, the problems that they've had with plan A. So here I am and I'm an SME. I'm turning over half a million, a million pound a year. I've heard of this coronavirus business interruption loan scheme. Great. That sounds, sounds good for me. And I've gone to my bank. Tell yeah. me the problems that people that are facing at the moment with, with that option. <laughs> Of course. So the problems that, are, that, that I've come across and, you know, just to make you aware as well, internally um, with Sedula, we, we have got um, we've got a task force. So an area that we've been able to assist more is through a different department within Sedula. So but what I've seen from it and from clients that I've dealt with or people that have gone to the banks directly, uh, I think probably one of the main things is maybe because of the demand has been um, people coming back. 
um, you know, com coming back regards to an inquiry, uh, maybe being a bit vague or things taking quite a while because usually with bank finance, there's certain boxes like anything criteria that would need to be hit. So I think people were expecting because of the government amount announcement, sorry, that the funds would be available from Monday, a bit like we're seeing funds will be available for the bounce back loan next Monday. That, that probably wasn't the case because the application process had to be done in a certain way. Information needed to be gathered. It needed to be reviewed. It does take a while. Um, so, you know, with, with the banks involved, it, it's great for them to be involved in, in reference to that scheme. I just think it wasn't the mechanism for getting quick, uh, quick capital back into, the, you know, to help the UK economy, for example. So from my, my point of view, that's what I've heard from people that I've spoken to. I haven't really dealt necessarily directly with that because a lot of clients that I've spoken to have gone direct. That's the feedback I'm getting. I'm sure, you know, other businesses, I'm sure, I'm sure people listening here might have different views as well um, on that. Well, I'd like to come in with, with, with my view as well, be, be, because of, um, you know, we're speaking to businesses that, that have also gone, gone down this route. They, they've gone to their banks. Um, they have, uh, we now, Jack, would you be able to just give us, um, run over the key points that you, you need to present Sorry, I did, I, I'm, I'm throwing this on your toes here. Um, yeah, you are now. Have you got the um, the sort of criteria that a business needs to present to the bank in order to get a coronavirus business interruption loan scheme? I think one of them was cash flow forecast, last year accounts, what, how much they need, how long they need it for, and was it the last five, uh, last six months bank statements and the last, uh, the, the, the last five VAT returns? Was that about it? I think that's about it, yeah. Like I said, I haven't dealt directly with the bank applications on the Seville side. Um, but there, yeah, there was, a, there was a number of, uh, yeah, cash flow forecasts, um, two years accounts, um, obviously bank information. Um, one, one thing we were doing internally at Sedula is helping with that application process so it was more likely to get approved. Um, but again, I've sort of sat outside a little bit of that and, um, to, to be fair to you, Chris, um, but yeah, that, that was, that was more or less some of the information, um, that, that would be needed. Um, well, what we found is, um, the businesses that have done this, that have been good businesses, you know, the good businesses, they've been profitable businesses and they've been turned down by the banks. Now, I just, you know, I really feel for the for the business owner here that that they they've run a, they've they've heard the announcement from the chancellor. You know, the sun started to shine again. There's some hope. They've they've gone to the trouble of putting together this package, uh, th this package of information. They've then gone to their bank, who they trust, and and then, I mean, here's the next thing: the 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 answer of the banks has been far too long. You know, they've been left in lim limbo. And then they get the, the hearing off the high street banks, and we need to make this distinction here. This is the high street banks that they can't get it. They've been turned down. They're in a sector that they're not lending to, and, and this, you know, we, we get the call after that where the business owner is just in despair, and it's like, oh, and at that point they really think that, that their business is 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 heading off a precipice. And that's, I just wanted to make that distinction uh, between the high street banks that can offer a C-bills loan, a coronavirus business interruption loan scheme, and what you're talking now about the alternative banks that are also on the scheme. So the message is, if you've been turned down by your bank, all is not lost. Jack, talk to us about the, the alternative lenders, how it works, and um, and how you've seen someone who's been turned down by their bank actually get, get a loan over the line with an alternative bank? Yeah, so, so my, my view, I suppose in this, in this scenario and scenarios in general, is I suppose, you know, regards to the service of, of myself working as a broker, is to explore all options that are available in the market. Now, don't get me wrong, as soon as these announcements were made, everyone wants um, a C-bills, you know, an, an interruption loan for example. So that's your plan A. But, you know, I can't stress enough that I, I, I have strong views that really you should look at all options that are available as a business because 
as we've seen, um, you know, if you're waiting, you've, you've applied, you've, you've put an application in and you're waiting. I know some, some people have been waiting, you know, over, over four weeks and haven't had a reply. So they don't know whether they can get that. They don't know whether they can't. Um, but while you're waiting, and I think that's a frustration in general, uh, you know, to business owners, to, to myself as well, is let's cover all areas. So there are still, when I'm saying about the alternatives um, side of things, there are now, which I think, uh, Chris, you know, there, there's, a, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, I think, on this area, because there's been a number of lenders that we work with in general to do their funding solutions that have come, um, they've applied um, to be accredited for C-bills. Uh, which probably you know aren't high street banks, so they're alternative lenders, and you know that's that's becoming to show a bit more. Um, an example of that, um, one of one of the guys who, uh, who works with Sedula uh, Funding Solutions, a gentleman called Matthew, he's helped a business yesterday, um, you know, access uh, fifty thousand, which was the amount that was needed through a C-bill scheme with an alternative lender, so not a high street bank lender from submitting an application um, and going through that process, you know, that's been, that's taken a week now, which, so I hope we're getting to the stage now where there is some quicker capital that's coming back to businesses, quicker application process. Yeah, they need the information, there's criteria there, mm -hmm. but we're seeing that happen more often. Um, now I do believe as well that there are, there's a number of lenders that are waiting, you know, to be accredited and get on this scheme. So I do think the door's going to open up. Um, and I think probably over the next two weeks, you'll see that with announcements. There's been an announcement yesterday uh, with a lender um, opening up their portal for businesses to look at, probably looking at decisions, you know, within 24 hours. So I think we are getting there. And I think that's a big, you know, a, a big light at the end of the tunnel and some big uh, positives for SME businesses that maybe couldn't get the help from the bank, Chris, or you know, they've gone through that process, they're still waiting maybe, but there's a few other avenues and it has taken some time, but they've probably, hopefully they've got it right now um, that that'll happen. And then going into next week, you know, there, there will be, um, you know, the bounce back loans as well. So there's sort of three routes there um, and a further route, which I'll go on to in a minute. I know you're itching to ask me something. Well, well just yes. <laughs> it's that obvious, is it? We haven't got a code <laughs> word, have we? Um, you carry on. <laughs> So I've had, um, I'm just trying to keep up with the comments on Facebook as well. So um, we've had a, a comment from a lady on our Facebook page who is, I'm just going to put this to you to answer. She, she banks with Barclays where she's applied for a C-bills uh, loan last month and she, she has been declined. And she's asking, okay. should I go back to Barclays for the bounce back loan? So, um, or... Is there something else that, that, that we can help her with if Barclays have turned her down for a C-bills loan? How would you answer that, Jack? Yeah, to answer that then, a couple of options. Again, with the, with the bounce back loans, we don't know exactly who's going to be uh, operating that or who's going to be on the scheme. It could be the bank, it, it, you know, etc. So we don't know 100% yet, but theoretically, yes, if they are on that, then she could go back um, to the bank uh, for that option. What I would say uh, is you know, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to have a look, happy to see whether I could help, for example, um, you know, have a bit of a structured email with information and criteria that actually would fit the alternative C-bills lenders. So if you're being declined from the bank, they might be a, an option to look at, depending on criteria, which I can talk through privately, you know, separately, apart from this, Chris, as well, mm -hmm. uh, if, uh, if that business owner is willing. Um, and Again, which we'll come on to in a minute, I know, but over alternative options, because the information that I would gather and, and the team gathers at Sedulo Funding Solutions covers all areas of the alternative C-bills and alternatives away from C-bills. So when I'm, and I know I'm quite passionate about it, but when I go from, you've got option A, if that doesn't work, where's your option B? Your option B, for example, could be C-bills, but the alternative away from Barclays. Then your option C could be uh, an alternative lender that we're still dealing with um, that are getting offers out to clients. They're not part of C-bills, but it's an option that's available. And from a lot of businesses I'm speaking to, you know, they, want, they need access to money now. So you know, that's the thing. And what we can do from our end is provide the options that are there back to a business owner, give some comfort that there are other options. And if they're available, 
that's completely up to themselves whether they take that further and go down that route but it does open up a few more doors hopefully and a bit more hope for for people so to sum up, and what I'll do is I'll reach out to this uh, this client, and we'll, we'll definitely get hooked up after yeah, after, this, after this webinar. Mm -hmm. So, what what we're saying is, the fact that Barclays have turned you down, you, you know that's definitely not the end of the line. Come and see us. There's, there's so many more people that want your business uh, on the coronavirus business interruption loan scheme. The fact that one bank's turned you down, in fact, you know, if two banks have turned you down. It, it does not mean that you're not going to get an interruption loan scheme if you meet the criteria. So that brings us nicely into the the the, um, the, the other funding um, uh, options that are out there. Because, listen, I think everyone was, um, what they did is, when this all happened, is they went to their banks on their own. Now, yeah. the, how many lenders are there on, how many accreditors lenders are there now? It's, it's over 40, isn't there? Over 40 in different areas, yeah, through, through banks, some alternatives that are on there, and some other product lines as well. Um, you know, one thing I probably, probably left out, really, is there are other lenders on there that, um, you know, a lot of them are lending to their client base that might not be available for everyone outside of this, but that might open up as well. So, you know, I think over the next couple of weeks, we might see that. So we're seeing that where, where the, the, the bank will only lend to their customers. Now... One of the benefits, so, so the, the, listen, let, let's be open about this. There's been discussions that, that you, you need to do this yourself, go to the banks. Now, I've been advising my customers because most of my customers that have gone to the banks have had the door shut in the face. And they, these, these were good businesses. And similar to when you get a mortgage, you go to a broker, you go to somebody who understands what the lender is looking for and their job is to go out to market and come back and go, Mr. Customer, we've got this from this company, we've got this from this bank, we've got this from this bank. They're gonna, we're starting to get a feel now, aren't we, for, for what the banks are wanting, what certain banks, are, what customers they're looking for. So, so that's why, I got, it's another reason we got you on the call, Jack, is we, we know your chance of getting a loan for the amount that you want in the time scale you want is gonna be vastly increased if you go to a professional here's what I'm looking for, here's who I am, and you'll go, right, well, your job is to get this, to get this through, through and over the line, isn't it? Now, if a C-bills, coronavirus business interruption loan, that's not the only finance that's available out there. People are still lending, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And just to, I mean, to add to your point there, and I know, you know, there's been there's articles and everyone's got their own opinion um, and I'm probably going to be a bit biased <laughs> by saying this, but I think um, in reference to where brokers fit in, I think, you know, they're, they're underappreciated sometimes or, or the, and, uh, you know, the, the view can, can vary, but basically a good broker um, would look at no obligations options for you. So they would look at that. So say outside of the Siebel's bank, which you can go to directly yourself, but there, there is help there as well to get, you know, make sure the applications done correctly etc is that you know if you're using a broker so a good broker really would look at all options um don't get me wrong uh, you know again putting my point across about having plan a plan b plan c plan d along the line because at the end of the day i wouldn't be doing my job properly if um say for example chris you know you were a client and you came to me and you said look you know i've gone to the bank been declined or i'm still waiting then i'll say okay well i need this information this will actually cover all the criteria and all the information that lenders would need through the C-bills application. So don't get me wrong, we'll look at that. But as people are aware, again, that's taken, that's been delayed a little bit. So we've got that ready to look at. Uh -huh. In the meantime, you know, what do you need the money for? What's the use of the money? The business has been affected. Do you need the money now? Do you need to pay a supplier? How is it, you know, the, how is it, the knock -on, what's been the knock-on effect for your business? You might need that money today. Uh -huh. um, so when we're looking at options, there are a number of lenders that are still lending out there. I've had probably three offers this week um, and they're businesses that need to pay suppliers. They need to keep the business going. Now, if the bank couldn't help through C-bills, the alternatives can look at C-bills, but it's taken a, a while. Why don't I have a look and get an option in place for you to, you to look at? Because that could be available now. Um, and sometimes that's what's needed. So I think the, you know, I think the approach there is 
nothing's guaranteed. You know, you're not going to guarantee get to get a C bills loan, but there are other options out there. You know, don't get me wrong. I know they're not government backed. They're not, you know, they might have a PG. There might be a higher interest rate. Um, but for businesses that actually need the money, um, then, you know, it, it's a valid option to look at. And again, that's my job, for example, and other brokers jobs to, to get that option in front of a business and give them a bit of a, you know, light at the end of the tunnel, give them some options to consider. So, you know, I think that's a really just to hit, you know, hit home. I think there, there are other alternatives there. And in general, outside of this crisis, it's exactly the same thing. We'll look in the market, we'll look at a number of options. Every lender works slightly differently, criteria is differently, but we try and fit it, fit a solution for, for the client. That could be speed, that could be the amount of money, could be the term, could be early repayments, could be anything. So, you know, if anyone's out there and, you know, needs some help and support with that, I'm more than happy to have a look at applications and let you know what's needed. Brilliant. And um, so I, I think that sort of, it sort of covers our points that, that we, um, you know, we, we set out at, at the start, Jack. Um, yeah. I mean, I found this extremely interesting um and, and our conversation uh, not only on here the, the conversations that we've had over the you know the past few weeks have been really good and um, really informative so obviously we're going to put the con uh, people's contact details in the uh, in the um in the comments but we're, obviously we're on facebook we're we're, we're going to put this and repurpose it on, on a lot of our, our social media platforms jack if somebody wants to get in touch with you, what is the best yeah. way for them to do so? Yeah, so regards to the website, um, www.sedulo.co.uk. That's for the group website, because there's other services as well that um, with the task force that we've set up there at Sedulo can, can be a real, a real help for other areas as well, of businesses that have been affected in different ways, not just on the funding element. Um, other website, www.sedulofunding.co.uk. Um, that's obviously the funding side. Um, you know, feel free to drop me a direct email on, or uh, an inbox on LinkedIn. Uh, my email is jack.christian at sedulo.co.uk. More than happy to pick up the phone, have a chat, talk to businesses about criteria. So if they have been, um, you know, declined from a bank or they want to look at an alternative, can let them know over a phone call for five minutes exactly what information I would need and probably understand then whether you know it's an option that they can look at and, and probably look at more quickly now. Now now that we're coming into probably next week it will open up the doors I think. Fingers crossed. Well um Jack I would just like to, to personally thank you um, and from everyone at First Business Rescue, we really value your support and uh, the advice and the, the work that we're, we're doing with you behind the scenes. Um, you know, the, just to speak it to, to the people that are watching now, this is tough. You know, we are we are in a crisis and and things aren't they've not been moving fast enough. You know, we we are concerned that it you know, one o'clock on quarter to one on the Friday before the bounce back loan opens up. We don't know where to point you to, to get this loan. Um, but it will come, you know, Monday, nine o'clock it opens. So over the weekend, we're going to have an update for you. Key points for bounce back loans up to 50 grand, 25% of your turnover. You're not going to need to personally guarantee this loan. Okay. So it's a great opportunity get educated, get, keep, keep looking at first business rescue, keep looking at the government website guidance over the weekend. Coronavirus business interruption loan schemes. We're getting traction there. They are coming slowly, but surely we are seeing more and more businesses that can access this funding. If you want some assistance, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to Jack. One of the key points I want people to understand today is, is, is that are you in difficulty? If you're not sure that your business is in financial difficulty or, it, or if it was in, um, let me get you the exact terminology, guys. If you are unsure 
whether your business was an undertaking in difficulty in De December 2019, I want you to reach out to me um, and our team at First Business Rescue. We are offering a completely free and impartial service during this crisis. And, and one thing that, 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 it's, that we've seen is everyone that speaks to us, absolutely everyone without, without exception, they wish they'd have spoken to us sooner and we outline the options that, 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 that are available and people sleep better at night knowing that. And I think that's probably the same for you, isn't it, Jack? You don't charge for these phone calls. You're, you're here to support right. and, and, and advise them. Exactly. So I just want to sum up by saying thank you for everyone that, that's, that's watched this. Um, if you have any questions, please send them send them us you can contact us on the first business rescue page um i'll be keeping updated with updates on my page chris word and my page chris word and on linkedin uh see dot word and on instagram um first business rescue on facebook please follow jack please follow sedulo they're a great company to be involved with and you know stay safe um, we're going to get through this. Uh, it, 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 is a, it is a tough time right now, but I think the government are doing everything that they can do. It's just been a little bit slow and the guidance is a little bit hazy. So we're going to keep you updated as and when the action happens. But I, th I think that's it. I, I think this is... Jack, once again, thank you. It's been great to, no, no, to, to, to hear your, your information. And um, listen, stay safe, everybody. We're here to support you. We're going to get through this together. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. And I think that probably brings us to the end, eh, Jack? Is there it anything does, you'd does. like to say before I end the meeting? I'd just like to say th thanks, Chris, for, for getting us on. And, you know, to everyone out there listening, don't get me wrong, I don't know everything. Um, there's updates all the time. There might have been updates since we've been on. So please let us know and keep us aware of it. Um, everyone's got their own opinions. We're just here to help. You know, we want to get the business and the economy back to, to the way it can be. Um, and I do think there's some green shoots and um, we'll get there together. So, yeah, any any questions, please ask. And hopefully... I can answer them. If I can't, I'll find out the answer. Brilliant. Well, well listen, this has been Chris Worden from First Business Rescue. I wish you a fantastic Friday and have a great weekend. Jack Christian from Sedulo, thank you for your time, my friend. Uh, take care and you will hear from us soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.